Well, we're out here in Lando. We're out here in Lando, and uh, we got the bridge over there. That is 16, Highway 16 bridge. And we're gonna go down here and look at some stuff. Artwork. Just to see what we can see. see is the first thing is that sculpted bird right there not sure what it's sculpted out of looks like a tree trunk maybe I don't know but like that there used to be some sand stuff down here too we had a flood a few years back and that water came way up almost over the bridge there I want to wash a lot of this stuff out. There we go. Oh, he's still up there with Steve up there with the dog. And it looks like somebody built him a bench down here, a chair. type thing to uh, suck everything up out of the cracks and uh, get it that way. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Another one built a bench out of stone. Bunch of, I don't know, whatever those are. So, you tell me. Not sure. Uh, kind of plastic. And if you look down here on the rocks, you see people put up these Karens down here on the rocks. So, we'll walk down there. Probably go over by the dam just to see what's up. So, there's Steve. Okay. And that building, the tall building up there, that's the old uh, jail and sheriff's office from the 1800s. There's the Cairns right there. We're not going to add to it. I'm not going to add to it. So, it's all red granite. Used to be a whole lot more, but when the flood came through, it kind of washed everything away. Through the granite, and that's where your gold come from. And right through here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. More quartz. Yeah. Quartz here. You see the quartz veins up through here. Yeah. And this is where your your gold will come up out of these quartz veins.
button trying to find her a lizard. Find a lizard? Now, well, somebody kind of bring this one off. Put some broken shells down there. See some minnows, but no fish. through here. There's some, see some perch down in there. Probably some bass, some catfish. So, whoop, whoop. <laughs> no, it's too sharp. Okay. Walk up this way a little bit. going across the bridge we're going to be kind of stuck here so, you see that one that rock's got some man-made stuff on it right there that was cut from somewhere so that's a land or water facility over there Karen's over there. Uh, big old sandbar out yonder. Probably a good place to find some arrowheads. Here you can see some other stuff that had been built in the past or they're working on now. Right there. Another one over here that's kind of got knocked over. Not sure what they're doing there. little sandy area. Willow. Pretty green one. Look at them. Maybe that's not a willow. It's got spines on it. It's got thorns. Not a willow. I guess. Okay. Here's a big circle here that somebody had built. Like I said, the flood that comes through here just kind of washed everything away. There's a lizard. Well, you just can't, there goes another lizard. You're looking the wrong way. Button looking for lizards, but she can't find them all. I'm seeing them everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. A Marcus Ham. There goes the lizard. I guess Marcus Ham built this one. Hammonds. Marcus Hammonds. So.
butterfly. See the butterfly? That's the butterfly. Whoop, there he goes. I'm gonna try to get up close to him, but I guess not. Nice purple flowers. Gourds. No gourds, I don't see any gourds. Nope. There's a surviving Karen. I think. Maybe. Yep. A little round. I call it a fire ring, but don't see any sign of fresh fire. Karen there. Huh? Yeah, water's over yonder. Here we go. Yeah, you ain't gonna get any closer that way either. It's all vegetation. Got this interesting little thing out here. It looks like an onion bulb. Up there. And that's uh, pretty interesting the way that formed up there. I don't know if that's natural or man-made. Looks like it might be man-made. Might have been woven somewhere and then set there. I don't know. Now it's got uh, ivy growing on it. Another Karen there. Trail going up through there to get over there, but we ain't going there. So. Okay, so we're up here by the bridge now. See the bridge right there. You can see the lake over there. That's also the Lano River. But you can see the dam that's got it dammed up. And you can see down through here. A nice old white house right over there. Uh, another old house right down there. I think all three of those are fairly old. Looking down river, you see a big sandbar out there. There's actually part of the river on the other side of that sandbar. And then part of it comes down this side here. So it's just a little bit too warm. It's uh in the high 80s right now to do a whole lot of walking. This is at the end of September, so I think today's the 29th. Here you see a cross sponsored by the Lano Church of God of Prophecy. And you can give them a call and tell them, hey, I like that if you like. There's their phone number. Let them know, hey, I saw it on YouTube and I'm living in wherever and really liked it. So there you go. And like I said, that over there is the old sheriff's office and jail from the 1800s. So. And you got a lot of old buildings over here on this side of town. Of course, you got another part of town over there, which is all newer stuff. There's some old stuff over there, but that's primarily your newer stuff over there. The old part of Lano is right up there. You can see the courthouse tower up there. You see how far they had the jail from the courthouse. Make them prisoners walk away before they got hung. Yeah, no, you're good. Here we got the uh, Tesla charging station. And there looks to be quite a few of them. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't get in because of all the vehicles waiting to use them. Uh, and here's the generator that uh, powers the uh, the uh, power so they can charge their vehicles. I'm sure that's probably a diesel generator. I don't see solar panels. So, but there they are. Tesla charging stations here in Lano, Texas. And quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them here in Lano, Texas. They really don't have a town. And. Maybe 2,000 people in Lano, Texas. Huh? 
I don't think we have one Tesla charging station in clean and we've got about 160,000 people. So, I guess uh, Lano's got more Californians out here than we do in, in clean. But there you go. If you're driving through Lano in an electric vehicle, I'm sorry, but they do have a charging station for you. Got, this is part of downtown. You got the Lano Craft Distillery, Hill Country Gifts and Wild Herbs. Uh, probably a pot shop. So, yeah, right there. Lano Craft Distillery. Looks like a pretty nice place to come and get falling down drunk. Uh, attorney's office right there. Yeah. Masonic Lodge and they meet the second Tuesday of every month so that be the old courthouse Rudolph up there and all your yuppie shops here the barrel house this is the bridge that you saw from down by the river. We're getting ready to go across. And there's the Lano Park. Now they lost a lot of their trees, but yeah, they're not very good. No, they used to be. And that's where we were down there. Okay. And here's where the other part of the river goes down through. old cot at cabin there. The old train station. It's the old Badu house built in 1891. Burger Bar Cafe. Subway and Mickey Mouse Donuts, Mickey and Minnie Mouse Donuts, and he's open now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. And we're gonna hang a left here. We're actually looking for a Sonic, but not sure they have it. Yeah, there it is down there. I see Sonic. Yeah. Some Mortimer sickles. Maybe I come down here and trade my truck in. That white one was a mall crawler. The market. Old Pizza Hut not in service anymore. Whoops. Yeah, we got Sonic on a hill. We ate breakfast right up there earlier today. And here we go up to the Skronic. Yep, Skronic, Skronic. Oh, there we go. We made it up the hill. Not sure if we were going to do that. Let's put it in four wheel drive. They don't actually make them for Hummers. <laughs> and we're in. 